Here we're loading 4x5 film into the 4x5 combi plan tank. Three holders here with the dark slides on black to indicate that we exposed the film. And before we turn off the lights, we want to make sure we have everything organized so we're not so we can easily find it in the darkness. So there's a little clip on top of the negative carrier and um, you squeeze the insides to get that on and off. And you want to make sure you have that set somewhere where it's easy to find. And here's the lid to the tank. And you probably want to make sure that lid's tight in there. And maybe close up this one too right away. And usually you want to set this up so this end and this end are opposite. It doesn't really matter that much. Alright, so now we're ready to turn off the lights and we'll take the film out of here and put it into the carrier. So this is what you actually do in the dark now. So, open up the negative holder, pull the film out, and start on the back slot. And you'll need to feel around, and this takes, you know, practice to make sure you're doing it right. Um, so you start out on the back slot, and you might have to push the film if it's a little curly like that. And number two, this one in the center slot, and you have to kind of feel with your fingers where that second slot is. Get that in. And now we're to our second film holder. It'll be the front negative. And we'll feel for the front slot and let that fall into place. And we did it wrong. See how these two films are touching? So, what you need to do is feel the sides here and know that you have that you feel three pieces of film that are separated so what we need to do here is pull this back and get it into the outside slot and then we can feel three sheets of film and three sheets of film okay so now we keep going on the other side got one more sheet in this holder that's in the back slot. Holder number one. Middle slot. And front slot. Sometimes these little locks get hooked on the 4x5 holders. If you can't pull the thing out, make sure you just have that little lock twisted so you can open it up. Okay, that's the last sheet of film that goes into the tank. And again, feel that you have three separated sheets there. Everything nice and level. Now you're ready to put this clip on. You don't have to squeeze it too hard to get it on. It's getting it off, you really have to squeeze it. Okay, and you want to make sure the film's all clipped in there. And again, feel that you have space in between the sheets. And you're ready to process. This goes up to here, put on the lid, make sure everything's nice and tight, and now you would be ready to turn the lights on. Okay, once you have your tank all closed up, it's safe to bring it out into the light. And the first thing we're going to do here is measure out about 35 fluid ounces or 1050 milliliters of developer. So quite a bit more than you would use in the uh, roll film tanks. And we're going to want to put this funnel on the top of the tank, like so. And then once that's in place, you want to unscrew it one entire turn. And that um, vents this so that the air can come out when the developer goes in. Here we'll pour the developer into the tank. It takes quite a while to get the tank full. It goes through the funnel fairly slow. Here once the tank is full, 
you screw this tight, remove the funnel, put on the cap, and set up your developing time. These are pinhole negatives, so I'm going to give them a little extra time. Five minutes would be standard. I'm going to give this seven. Rotating the tank by tipping it the long way, inverting it, and you want to do that for the first 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds are up, you want to give it a little tap on the table or remove any air bubbles and then just let it sit for the next 25 seconds just like you would for the roll film tank. These tanks can leak, so it's a good idea to do this over the sink. When your developing time is up, you want to pour the developer down the drain. You'll do this by opening up the top, opening, flipping it over, and then opening up the bottom. And the reason for this is when you're pouring the developer in, it started at the bottom and went to the top. By dumping it out this way, we're actually doing the opposite, where the developer is at the top of the tank last. Next we need to rinse the film. We'll have the funnel back on here. We'll have both ends open and make sure this is unscrewed. And we're going to turn on the water. And I'm going to actually put my finger on here and watch for uh, water to come up through the top. Alright, there it's full. Now I'll let it off, turn off the water, let it drain out. And we'll do two rinses like this to make sure that the developers rinsed off the film. Okay, here's my second rinse. Alright, now we're ready for fixer. And we'll just put place this plug back in the bottom, leave the funnel on, measure out the 35 fluid ounces of fixer, and pour that in. All right, we're setting the timer at five minutes again. And take off the funnel, screw this in, put on the cap, and then do the same agitation sequence where we do the first 15 seconds and then tap the tank and let it sit down. Once the five minutes is up, you'll dump the fixer back into the tank, just like with roll film. Undo the top, and just dump it in there. After fixing, we're ready to rinse off the film. Uh, at this point, the film is fixed, we can take the lid off, and just put it underneath the water, and fill up the tank without making a mess. And just put my finger over it until it's over the film. And now we'll just make sure there's enough flow to maintain it full. And I'm going to set the timer for one minute. And while we do that, I'm going to measure out the hypo wash. Again, this will be about 35 ounces or 1,050 milliliters. After the one minute rinse, we just dump out the tank, plug it up, pour in the hypo wash, and we just set the timer at one minute and swish it around for pretty much that whole time. After your one minute of sloshing the hypo wash around is over, you just dump that into the sink. And again, set up the wash. And wait for it to be over the film. And when it's full here, I'll pull the plug and set the timer for five minutes. 
So our five minutes is up. We'll turn off the water and next we'll want to do our photo flow and we can just take a small tray and pour out our photo flow from our tank and pour that into the tray and then just do one sheet at a time pulling it out of here and agitating it for a couple seconds in the photo flow and then pulling it out and make sure that there's no foam sticking to it. To dry the sheet film we'll use the same drying cabinet that we used for the roll film. We'll just clip it onto one of these bars and then place this bar in the cabinet. Okay, here I have the um, three sheets of film on the bar and that just gets placed in the cabinet. and set this for about a half hour.